Hi everyone and welcome back and let's take our journey forward. What we are going to in this example is we are going to write the test cases for the hooks. So we will write a couple of hooks and we will see how we can test them. So here I'm writing uh, one uppercase hook like uh, whenever you pass any particular value that will return the uppercase export function use uppercase okay you might have seen like use exios huge fetch similarly this is another hook and uh, in this it is taking some value and what this hook is doing this hook will return the value and one function which you can call to convert a string to uppercase okay so let's see the transformed value and initial value equal to value dot two uppercase this is the method we can call right and we can write a state use state hook value set value equal to use state and this is initialized with the transformed value okay so value will be the uppercase and then we can return the value this is true for the initial value which which you are passing but what about like what if you wanted to change the value and get the updated uppercase value then you have to define update method so here we are passing new value and new value will return just a set value because we can only expose two attributes so set value new value dot two uppercase right and then we can also use a use effect hook what it will does is based on the initial value it will set the value to the transformed value so here it is we are initializing this with the empty we are passing the initial value which is the value which which you are passing and then if this value is getting changed we can call set value method and we can just convert it into uppercase okay this is simple uppercase hook you can see and we have to import stuff like import use state and use effect from react and our simple use uppercase hook is ready to be used it is exposing the value and the update function this update function is transforming i mean update function is whatever the value you are passing it is converting that into uppercase and returning the value and value is exposed like this and whenever this value attribute is getting changed we are whenever this okay we need to change this attribute name otherwise we will be in trouble so let's call it as initial value because in the hook also we are using the same same attribute initial value and it is the initial value dot to uppercase so whenever the initial value is getting changed what we are doing is uh, we are using use effect hook so use effect hook will update the value to the upper case of the initial value so this value we are returning and whenever you can also update that and it will return the updated value because we are setting set value this value will be exposed okay this is let's say one hook now you can also we can also work on another hook and can write a simple increment hook what that does is uh, you have some value and now you can actually increase the value decrease the value like some kind of a counter and i will write it uh, here counter hook and counter hook dot js it is the same kind of hook what we are doing is we are going to use use state hook to write this simple counter right counter set counter and it is exposing two methods add and remove which is 
just updating the counter value with either plus one or minus one based on your method name either add and remove and it is returning the counter value and we are using use state hook to initialize this with zero go to use state hook so these are the two hooks we have and now let's see how we can write the test cases for this okay first of all we will under try to understand how to test the hooks how we can render the hooks okay Okay, so inside tests, we will create a file hook dot test dot js. Okay, inside this, we will import. Now we are going to use React testing library React hook. Okay, first of all, import the component from this particular file. We'll go outside and inside this hook, we have the component, and then we also need to import. Stuff from testing library, testing library React hook. If it is not imported, we will import it. Okay, so from here we will import render hook because this will going this is going to help us to render the hook. And here we are going to import user per case. And now. You can just do a describe it, or you can just do a test because you have multiple options to write the test cases. Either you can use a describe it, or you can simply write test, and then there is an it. Here we can say testing React hook. Just a dummy message for now. Okay. Now what we are going to do? Let's format this a little bit. Okay. So we are going to return get the result first, the container. And here we are going to use this render hook because this is going to be used to render the hook. And it will take a callback function, and we are going to call this use uppercase function, which is nothing but a hook. Use uppercase, and you can pass a string. So this is how you will get the result. So test string, and now you can play with the result. Let's see what result we are going to get. We can log it. Console dot log result. Okay, now we can act on to this. I mean, let's say I wanted to change the value, right? I wanted to change the value, so I will use this result attribute, result dot current. I have seen this in the documentation. From there only, I got this information that you have to play with the result object after doing render hook, and here I can call update because it is exposing two things, value and update. And here I can say is updated and then once it is done i can expect result dot current dot value because we are exposing two property update and value and we can just see if this is equal to updated not like this it should be totally in the upper case updated right so this is our one test case what we are doing is we are accessing the result object and then from the result object we are checking what is the current value from this we can also act on to this hook by calling a method like we have a add update delete if you see here method counter hook here you will get the result and then you can call result dot current dot add result dot current dot remove result dot current dot counter your counter is initialized with zero. When you call add, it should be the current counter should become one. When you click on remove, the counter should become zero. So same kind of test case we can write there. Okay, here is like we are passing, we are testing onto some test string. What if you are passing some initial value? Okay. 
we are going to testing react hook with re-rendering re-rendering means let's say you are getting something from the props and you are passing that in the hook instead of hard coding we are getting this value from there so let's say we are passing text and this text is being received by this hook and this keeps changing right and here uh, here we are getting text inside a props so what we can do is we are receiving uh, text inside a props so we can just get that using the structuring text and then use uppercase so first argument is a text and another argument is initial props so initial props initial props is we are saying is we are initializing text to text string this is the initial value but you can also change it through re-rendering process you will be able to pass the updated value so this argument and this should be inside a curly braces now this will be good okay now what we are doing is it's all about re-rendering right so how we can trigger the re-rendering using re-renderer that we can get from the same library render hook re-renderer this we can get with this re-renderer and we can hit this we can execute this re-renderer by passing the text value okay now i wanted to render this thing and here i can say okay now the you will receive the text value is updated okay and when you once this hook is triggered then the current dot value will become updated exclamation okay this is when you are passing the dynamic value okay this is the initial value test string but you can actually do the re-rendering by calling re-renderer and pass the, the next text value and you can also check that the value is getting uppercase or not this is updated now similarly we can also talk about counter hook hook dot test dot js counter hook tests will also be kind of similar there we have a lot of other actions like add and remove but the logic is going to be the same here we are going to render the we are going to use the same method react testing library react hook and we are going to get the counter hook we are importing the count and act and render hook from the react hooks and here we can use same skeleton of described it block and then we will change things okay here i am doing render hook render hook count this is my component so i am rendering the component and we are getting the result right and you can act on to the result you can just call result dot current dot and it is not taking any argument and then result dot current dot counter will become to be one don't get confused like sometimes i'm writing equals sometimes i am writing to be one that depends on what library you are using if you are using jest i mean we are running all the test cases in the jest environment we can write to be to be in document to be null to be not null all these things to be defined okay now the next thing is we can render hook and we can trigger the remove here only we can test this instead of this we can call remove current dot counter will become zero right so this test case is looking into all the different aspects of this particular hook right we are calling add and we are calling remove 
and when, whenever you are removing it, the in initial value will become 1, now it will become 0. Okay, initial value is li like 0, so you can also write one more test case. What if you are directly removing things? Okay, you are not doing addition, you are simply saying is result dot current dot remove, then it will become minus 1. Okay, so let's see that in the execution. So here we can see our test cases are passing for the custom hook and we are using renderer hook and act like whenever we need to update or when, whenever we need to act on to a particular hook and this re-render we are getting from the render hook only and this is going to help us to pass the new value to the hook and get the expected output. Okay, after this like uh, we have covered all the basic things and all. You can also take a look on to some other examples like here this is an example which is talking about I mean these are some, some of the examples I have uh, pulled down from the github and I will be updating that onto my github repo because these are these can help you to do more things onto the testing we have already covered all these aspects like here what we are doing in the component is we are making an API call get name collection is a name API and here you might have some method which you are calling and getting some data. Now, for writing the test case, this huge effect is making an API call. Now you have to mock this, right? So to mock this, you can actually write just dot spy on. So this API, you will uh, import that API class and you are mocking, you are actually spying on to this get name collection method. And here you can return what this method is going to return the value like mock resolved value once mock resolved value and explicitly you are saying is whenever the api dot get name collection is getting triggered this is going to be resolve us this value in the test case and then we can also test okay api dot get name collection have been, has been called api dot get name uh, collection has been called with these many arguments this you can do okay so we are assigning this to a stub or anything right now what we are doing is first of all uh, we are just checking element before in the document so now let's see this what it is doing that name collection is so whenever it is making api call then it should, it should start appearing this data right test id name should start appearing in the collection in the in your in your rendered html so what we can do is we can wait for we can wait for something and let's see what we are doing here we can wait for this element to appear wait for element so here till now we were using wait for element to be removed right here we can use wait for element that is coming from react testing library i mean in particular version this is deprecated now wait for element wait for element so till this name starts appearing, we, will, we are going to wait for and then we can just check, okay, this get stuff has been called, get stuff has been called with, all these things we can test. Same thing here, we are spying and we are saying is, so using this spy on, you can actually change the result of a particular method in each and every test case. Here what we are saying is, we are doing a spy on get name collection from the API module and we are saying is it is going to return us these two array elements instead of one. So here we can say we are waiting for this test ID name to be appeared and then we are checking all these things that element length should be two and the text content of one will be John Doy, second also is John Doy. So this is the, the typical example of how you can do this. I mean we don't need to mock the XGOC here. Why? Because in the name API, we are actually mocking the name API method. Get name collection, we are directly mocking. We are not mocking the Xeos. Now, once you mock the get name collection, inside this you can write anything. You can write Xeos, fetch or whatever. We don't need to worry about what is the content inside get name collection. We are mocking, we are spying on this name API, API dot get name collection. So inside this, it can be anything. We are just mocking and we are just saying, okay, Spy, spy on API uh, get name collection in the API and we are resolving I mean we are returning this array as a resolved value from this API call 
Now get name collection can be anything. It can be a, you are writing a file, reading a file, you are reading it from the network using Exios, fetch, node fetch, anything. So this is also, if you don't want it to mock Exios, create a separate class like a class API, write, write your get, put, post, delete method, and then create a spy on API get, API get user, update user, delete user, and then you can also resolve the value. Because we are mocking the outer wrapper, not the 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 low level details of the axios okay so similarly there are other examples also like name edit this example is talking about simple uh, text field like here we have a simple youth state hook and when you, whenever you do the on change event we are setting the username and we are printing the username here so what can be the simple test case is initially when this component renders this test id username label should be empty username input should be empty the content inside this but when you start when you do a change trigger when you trigger the user event change on to this then this username value will become same as this username property so if you see what we are doing first we are checking that this is rendered with empty value okay label element input element both are empty now what you did is you did this additional step fire event dot change and we already have the input element with us using test id get by test id and we are sending the target object with the value so now the value will become john so the text content is john for the label element and for the input element it is also john and what is the label element this one is a label element and this is the input field element okay so these kind of tests i will push uh, into the github and you can also take a look and this is all about okay using jest with react testing library and covering all different scenarios of your component your component may will have a side effect may will have a custom hook will be using use effect use state or will be using the lifecycle methods making some api call fetching the data and toggling the the gsx content all these things are covered and i hope now you can actually take a look onto the github repository do these practice and learn more things. Okay. Uh, thanks everyone.